Lagos is one of the fastest growing cities in the world with a population that has more than tripled in the last three decades. This rapid urbanization has led to overcrowded urban areas where infrastructure struggles to keep pace with the rising demand for services, including waste management. The waste generation is a function of the size. If you have the family size of two, the, 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 the volume of waste they are going to generate can't be compared with the family size of six or thereabout. So with the increase in the number of people in Lagos, so it is not unexpected that the waste we are going to generate will also increase. We cannot deny the fact that there is a population explosion in Lagos and a lot of people just come in from everywhere. Now when they come in from every part of Nigeria with night bus, you are not exactly sure and you can't account for them. You don't know where they are staying. They just hide in crevices and uncompleted buildings here and there and then they have to open in all of these places. Um, we have the state government particularly has done a lot of things to champion registration, residence registration, so that the, you know, states can plan for them. When we know where you are, then we can plan for you. The city's waste management systems have been overwhelmed by the sheer volume of waste generated daily, as piles of uncollected waste become breeding grounds for disease vectors, posing serious health risks to residents, especially in densely populated areas. The major issue is that there is no way waste will not be generated. But how do you manage it? So the agency is in charge and should do more and keep on working. You don't have to relax because waste will be generated per second. So, and then you must also operate per second. You do, if you operate per hour, it means you're going to have the lag behind and then it will lead to a lot of problems. The ecosystem that you belong to will determine your well-being. Don't forget that recently there was outbreak of cholera in Lagos. Addressing Lagos's waste crisis requires a multifaceted approach. Investment in modern waste management infrastructure, community engagement in recycling initiatives, and sustainable urban planning are essential steps towards a cleaner, healthier future for all Lagosians. By tackling the root causes, such as overpopulation and inadequate waste management systems, a way can be paved for a more sustainable and resilient Lagos. In Lagos, for New Central, Bettina Nwili.